the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to Nicodemus, God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God sent the Son into the world not to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. He who believes in him is not condemned. He who does not believe is condemned already. Because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten, only, of, only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we are celebrating Holy Trinity. Usually, we think about uh, symbol, symbol or image of the Holy Trinity. Uh, it's like a, a triangle. But uh, traditionally, uh, there is another uh, image, uh, symbol. It is uh, actually a circle. And this circle is not uh, kind of stable, but a uh, circle dancing. And uh, uh, this is something always moving, and the uh, Trinity, uh, like uh, joyful unity, and uh, uh, always something moving. Uh, it's like uh, some tribes, they hold the hand, and we too maybe uh, like, uh, and start to move. And uh, the important thing is uh, to uh, make it uh, dancing, uh, we need to give space. Otherwise, the uh, uh, next person will hit me. Uh, so important thing is to give space. And actually, that is the uh, uh, nature of God. Uh, nature of God is giving. And uh, this gospel uh, tells us exactly uh, God is giving. God so loved the world, he gave his only son, uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, God is giving. And uh, not only giving, but also even giving up giving up only some to die on the cross to save us. And that is something nature of God. And uh, another we know, uh, God is love. Uh, in the Old Testament, uh, people, uh, they knew and they understood God is one, oneness of God. But uh, until Jesus uh, came to us, uh, people did not uh, know uh, God is Trinity. So uh, they did not understand what Jesus is talking about, uh, God the Father and uh, his son. People did not understand. But uh, through Jesus, uh, we know God is one, but uh, God is three persons. And that uh, uh, actually love is not alone, but uh, always uh, in this uh, loving relationship. What we understand. Uh, so uh, we are now all of us baptized in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And so think about this dancing. Actually, by baptism, we are entered, we entered that relationship, uh, circle dancing. And we are in that circle. And uh, how to remain uh, in that circle, Trinity circle, always in this relationship? Actually, that is a salvation. And uh, so we always need a relationship with God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And all the time, uh, whatever sacrament or prayer, each sacrament, each prayer, we start the uh, sign of in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And the end we do in the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Something reminding us we are baptized in this relationship, and we entered into that relationship. And uh, remember, uh, God the Father, uh, God the Father, uh, in the name of the Father, God the Father so loved the world, and he sent uh, his only son, uh, going down, son is God the Father here, God the Son is here, down. Why so down? Actually, God the Son sent uh, his only son all the way to down to us to save us. That's so much love of God the Father and so much love of God the Son and so much love 
of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Trinity wants to love us more and more and save us. And that is God's mercy and God's love. So God the Father so loved the world, God the Father sent his only son all the way to down to save us and to remain that gathering in unity relationship with the Holy Spirit. And that we understand. And this is something very uniting. And to remember, we just uh, sometimes very hurry, hurry in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. But uh, each time, each prayer, we start with the sign of in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God the so loved the world, He sent only His Son all to us, uh, to save us, and to have a relationship with, uh, through the Holy, Holy Spirit and enter into again and again this unity, the Holy Trinity. So that is an invitation and a reminding today, the Holy Trinity. So today we remember especially our baptism and this keeping within in this circle relationship, God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, actually that is our way to heaven. So continue to keep ourselves within this circle, the Holy Trinity, and also encourage others to remain within this circle. Uh, so we are baptized and we continue this loving relationship with God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.